Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you. Um, it's kind of an unboxing video. It's my first unboxing video, so I'm not entirely sure how to do it. So I'm just gonna give it a go. Um, I entered a giveaway contest on Instagram for Physicians Formula, and I actually won, which is really cool. <laughs> so I have my prize here. It's in a nice size box. And they were giving they were giving away the natural defense line, the new one. So I got the entire collection, which is so cool. And here's the box, the inside. It says congratulations. It's a pretty heavy box. I was not expecting to get so many products in here. Um, so that's a really cool giveaway. Huge thanks to Physicians Formula. So I'm just going to start pulling the stuff out. Again, I don't know if I'm supposed to open these things in front of you or just show them to you. So I just wanted to share what I won. Of course, I'm going to be making a video um, a little more in detail or in depth of the products. But this is kind of just to show you, like, you know, the stuff that I got. So uh, let's see. I'm just going to start naming the stuff I pull out. The first one is the Natural Defense Concealer. It does have an SPF of 30. And they gave me the shade light medium which i think would be good for me it's like this and it looks like it's got a sponge applicator kind of reminds me of the um charlotte tilbury then i got a natural defense multicolor stick in the shade natural rose these this one's in a box there's other ones here i'm seeing that are opened actually let me yeah let me see they gave me another shade too the first one was Natural Rose. This one is Warm Coral. This is True Mauve. And they kind of, like, it's a stick. It's so pretty. Honestly, when I saw that they were launching this, I was definitely interested in picking these ones up because I really love cream blushes. Um, another one in Soft Pink in its packaging. Uh, the blushes have an SPF of 20, and it says here, I think this is like the main thing about this particular line that launched for Physicians Formula. It says 360 degrees, total defense complex. It has the SPF of 20 against UVA, UVB. Um, RPF, which is a blue light, and then PPF pollution. It's paraben-free, gluten-free, dermatologist tested, and clinically tested. That's cool. It's paraben-free. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> they also sent me the foundation. Now, I wasn't sure what shade I was in, so I said that, you know, I'm either light to medium or medium. Um, with Physicians Formula, sometimes some of their foundations tend to have, like, a little more pink in them, or it's like a jump between light to medium and medium. But these actually look pretty close to each other. But if you see here, the medium one is a little more yellow tone which would probably work better for me i'm gonna have to test it out to see and they also sent their natural defense finishing powder this looks really cool it's in the shade light which i went online to look at these ones and the medium one that they had looked like it would be probably too dark for me so i think they sent me the right one and then they also have which is so cool it's a natural defense uh, protect your prime oil it has an spf 15 which is really cool it's blue so i'm super excited to try these out this one looks like it's a primer i really like that everything has an spf in it i will be the first one to tell you that a lot of my stuff doesn't have spf in it um so i'll usually have to incorporate something underneath my makeup or if my makeup has it but i recently kind of i've been playing around with um other brands and I don't think it has SPF in it. So this is always something good to kind of incorporate. So yeah, I'm super excited to try these foundations out. The concealer looks really good and it looks like it's not pink toned, which I like because I've mentioned before in previous videos that anything that has like a pinkish tone to it just doesn't work for my skin tone. So you know what? Um, let's do some swatches, actually. I'm going to open everything up and I'll be right back. All right, so I opened everything up. We're gonna do some swatches. I'm not gonna do a try on because I already have my makeup on, but I will definitely be doing a try on um, this week just so we can kind of see how things wear. But for now, this is just strictly swatches. So they're themed around protecting your face against the Blu-rays, 
uh, I'm sorry, UVB, UVA rays, blue light, and just really kind of protecting the skin. So let's start off with the blushes. They're in stick form. They smell so good. Mm. Oh, I think I got them on my nose. All right, let's swatch. This is natural rose. I'm just going to do it on the back of my wrist. That's natural rose. It's nice and creamy. It almost, I would say it has sort of like a matte finish. It's definitely not like a radiant, but it's really pretty. Next one is soft pink. Looks like a nude pink. Oh, that's really pretty. It's definitely a nude pink. Again, same finish. Let's go down. Yeah. This one is True Mauve. This is a very interesting looking color. Oh, that's gorgeous. I like that one a lot. These smell so good. I can't think of what they smell like, but they smell really good. And Warm Coral. So there you go. And they blend really nice. They're creamy and then it seems like they kind of dry down to like a somewhat powdery finish. They're not emollient, but they're definitely creamy. That's really pretty. Those are the shades. Next is the foundation. So this one is in light medium. It's a pump, it's got a clear top to it. It's got nice, like the, looks like the sky. All right. Ooh. All right. So from what I can see, it's not too pinky. It's more like a peachy tone. Oh, it's, um, it's sort of like a gel moussey texture and it's really creamy. That smells good too. I don't know what that smell is. But it's really good. That's nice. I like the texture of it. It feels hydrating, which is really nice. So that's the light to medium. Medium. Let's try this one. Medium's definitely more of a yellow golden undertone. It has like a... It's not a gel. Kind of formula but it's almost like a cross between a gel and a mousse so now comparing these two next to each other you can see that this one has more pink in it so medium light to medium but they feel nice they've almost dried down to like a soft radiant it's not a super glowy foundation but it's definitely a radiant finish so i like that and now this one is the Finishing powder, it doesn't really have a scent to it. It's got like, a, looks like waves, like it's embossed. And it has, it usually comes with it. Yeah, it comes with like a powder. I'll swatch the powder shade. Oh, this actually might be too light for me. Yeah. That's the powder shade. That's gonna be way too light for me. Um, it might work underneath my eyes, but it feels really soft, very creamy, very like finely milled, which is nice. It feels really good on the skin. So those are the swatches. I guess I have some blush on already, but let me pop on a little bit. Let's do natural rose on top of what I have just to see how it kind of sits. Um, underneath, I'm wearing the RMS Uncover Up Foundation, the one in the little pot, the, the original. Okay, so these are pretty pigmented and they blend very nice. I may have put on a little bit too much. <laughs> Don't put on that much. It's extremely pigmented. I mean, if you like blush, go for it, but it's a very pigmented formula. Again, that was Natural Rose. It's really pretty. It just kind of blends into the skin. Again, it's not a radiant finish or anything. It's a nice, soft, I would say more of a matte finish, but it looks really pretty. So I like that. 
Um, and then I guess let's try this one. This is True Mauve. We'll do that one on the right side of my face. Let's do two strokes of it so that it doesn't look too heavy. Yeah, this blends amazing. Blends really nice. I like that a lot. I can definitely see this being a product that you can just throw in your bag. And I'm sure it doubles up as a lipstick. Yeah. It's nice and light. My lips are very dry. But it is a multi-stick color, so I would only assume that it's for blush and cheek. Wherever else you want to try it. Um, and let's do the concealer. So this concealer, it, it reminds me just of the Charlotte Tilbury. You kind of turn it and then you squeeze it. So let's try it out. I'll swatch it over here next to the... Actually, you know what? I'll do it in between the two foundation shades that I swatched earlier. Oh, wow. Okay, so real quick. There is a hole in there. So the product does come out and it does go onto the sponge. But other sponge applicators that I've seen, that hole would be normally covered. So let's see. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's the color. Let me sort of blend it out. It's a nice formula too. It's pretty, it's pretty yellow, which is good. Um, let's put it over top some concealer that I already have on. Cause I am curious to see what the finish is. Wow. That's pretty, it's pretty pigmented. So that really cut out the darkness I had underneath my eyes, like very quick. I have some darkness here. Let's do the other eye. I put way too much on the back of my hand. You only need a little bit. So when you're squeezing the product out, that's the only thing is like, you got to squeeze it really slow. So you have darkness. And... Wow. Yeah, I would say that concealed my darkness and kind of brightened up underneath my eye. So that's really cool. Let's try this down here. I have been really bad and I've been picking at my face. I know I'm not supposed to, but I can't help it. I'm about to get my period and it's like I see a blackhead or a pimple and I'm like, I know, I know. I shouldn't be doing it. All right, I have a dark spot there. I went to town on my face the other night. It's so bad. My husband was like, are you, are you popping your pimples? And I said, yeah. He goes, you can tell. You need to stop. And I said, damn it. When he notices it, I've gone too far. All right. So it didn't completely conceal this part. I would need a color corrector because it's like a brown spot from a scar. But it concealed this area. So that's actually really nice. For the face, um... I would just use a good moisturizer underneath. I'm a little bit dry there because um, having a bit of a flare up with my cerebric, cer cer I forgot how to say it. I posted it on Instagram. I have this inflammation where I'm getting red and my skin gets dry. So, but this actually works nice on the face and underneath the eyes a lot. So if you guys have any questions, please, please comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you guys in my next video and I will do a more in-depth review, put the makeup on so we wear it and everything, and I'll be testing out this guy. So have a wonderful day.